Hey guys, Stealth Jacob here, and welcome back to the Direwolf 20 1.10 mod pack. Today we're going to do a little bit more wiring within our base, but after this we should be able to take a break from it at least, so hopefully this will be the last time we do it for a while. But what we're going to try and do is we're going to send this wire through the floor here, and then bring it to these computers over here. So then we can infinitely have power going to these machines, I guess. So, to do that, we need to break the ground here, which is actually the floor, okay. That's not a big issue, we can deal with this. We only have two cables currently, but we can make some more. We also have to make some painted facade as well. But first, let's make the cables. We just gotta do... What do we have to do for a conduit? We just have to do... Yep, okay, we have all the materials for that. So alloy smelter to alloy mode, and we'll do six of those and six of these. And that is working perfectly. We also have some of those ready. Um, what we can do in the meantime is dig out the floor and figure out where we're going to put stuff. So, this will be for the future as well. We're going to have it go under, I guess. Uh, put that there. We want to at least get a gap right here. Now... I think there's like one block left. Okay, so that should be a full little loop there that we can go to. So what we want to do is we'll go pick up the materials so we don't lose them. And we can also check the floor to make sure that's accurate. Um, there's a corner bit. That's kind of hard to reach, so I guess we can do it from down here. But, yeah, this will be good. We're going to have the wire go in both directions eventually, but for now we're just going to try and hook up this first computer system, which shouldn't be too difficult. So let's go get some of the ingots. And also, what we need to do is paint this. We'll have it look like small tile. Why not? We'll make a full eight of these. Add a facade in the painter. So that's going. We have some of those as well. So let's make some of the conduits. Okay, we have a full set of eight right now. So we can do a little bit of wiring. Yeah, this is going to be the room where our main computer is going to be, I guess. So, it's going to be pretty good. Alright, so, we have that done. Sort of. We need, we'll need one more set, but then we'll be good for cables, I think. We don't need any more for now. So then we can take a break from it, which will be fun. We can make another set right now as well, which is perfect for this. Alright, we can see the cables through the floor, that's fine. Okay, so we can have one there. I guess you have to go under the ground to put this last one in. How many do we need? Just one, or like two. That's not too bad. We'll use dirt to build up. We'll connect that and we can break this. And I guess we could just connect it up there. It's simpler to do that. So let's go and do that. All right, so we have power going into this area now. Let's go grab some facade. We're going to have to make a bit more of it, but 
I don't know if we want all of it to be marble. That's a problem. How will it look underground? I don't know. But we want to do the walkway for sure. And we can do it here. This is also a good test. I wanted to see if this stuff will actually work. So we need the controller. And all we need to do is put that on this block. And it does get power. So that's really good. Awesome. Uh, so now what we can do is we can connect everything that we have here to it. And it should be functional, I guess. That's pretty cool. So we'll have the grid there. We can put the soldier or here on this side, I guess. And so we can remove this block. We have a wrench to do that. Um, something we can do is... So we can take the disk drive out. Whoops. Okay. Don't want to break those by accident. We'll go grab that. Alright, we got it back. We just got to make sure that we're get, we're not losing power from this. We need to make sure that we're always gaining power. So we're going to have to check the sol solar panels in the future. But something cool that we can do is we can make a line of these. And my plan was to put disk drives either above them. We can put just a ton of disk drives here. So we could put them on this, so we could put them above it, and that would just be a ton of disk drives for storage space. And that would be really good, actually, for this room. So, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go check the solar panels. We need to make sure we're not losing anything. So we'll go up here. And we could check this thing. So we're basically staying even right now. The problem is though that at nighttime we're definitely going to be losing power. So um, we need to figure out a way to counteract that. Um, we could do is make a bunch of energy banks I guess. There's this one stores 25,000, this store stores one. Or 25 million. Hmm. The thing is, those are way more expensive. Hmm. I'm not sure how we want to store our power yet, but that's something that we're gonna have to do at some point. Because yeah, now that's nighttime, it's getting darker. We're gonna start losing power, which kind of sucks. So we need to make more solar panels. And we also need to make a better way to store them. Okay. Well, we did get the computer hooked up, though, which is fun. So if we want to start putting items into it, we kind of can. But I kind of want to fill in the rest of the gaps first. So let's do that. Um, we have some stone brick. We can fill this in up to there. And... Uh, guess we could just do that. Okay. The thing is, the underside isn't going to look very good either. How does it look? We can just use marble, though. Uh, yeah, this floor is going to be marble anyway, so we'll just use... Well, actually... Something else that I want to do is, I need to look at the open computer computer. Does this run off of RF energy? I think it does. So my plan was to have the room next to this be a computer room too. So. I'm just going to lay a little bit of cable right here. So this is where the other computer room will be, where we have an open computer's computer in the future. That's going to be the plan for that one. Um, so we'll leave that there. 
and we'll cover up the rest the underground with facade and we'll leave that one open so we can know where it is but that's sort of my plan with that I think it's a decent plan um, if you guys have any ideas leave a comment down below so I can see what you think of my ideas because they're kind of weird but I don't know all right let's fill that gap all right okay so we have that done I guess we could remove these these are not, not necessary shift right clicking we don't need all of them we can leave the first row I guess all right okay we're almost there we do need to find a good way to store energy which a good idea could be to maybe this giant space down here instead of being old storage could be just like um maybe here we could have some a large like one of these things where where is it a large bank maybe just like a ton of the basic ones, but just a massive one, you know? That could be a decent idea. And it would go all the way up to the ceiling. That could work, actually. We would just need a ton of those things. That could be a valid idea, though. Um, I don't know. If you guys like that idea, leave a comment down below. That could be a possible solution, though. All right, yeah, these things are still, they're great, so that's awesome. And then, yeah, I was playing and having a ton of different storage disks for each different item. And we can just have a ton of the disk drives and it'll work out perfectly. Okay. Um, is there anything else that we want to do this episode? We can make another solar panel if we want. Let's try and do one of the, wait, how many, are, we have four ender pearls. I think that's enough. Yeah, it should be. Okay, let's do it. So we need two iron. We also need some gold and that stuff. We only need two gold though. So two gold, two redstone, two glowstone. <coughs> So that'd be good for that. Those ingots, then we just need two iron, which we'll get. So we'll just put this in the smelter right now. So we'll do this. We need two of those. And then this one needs, yep. So we're going to be out of ender pearls, but we can get some more in time. So that's not a big issue. Let's grab two iron, though. So there we go. We got two iron. Yeah, we just... Right now, basically what we need to try and build is more solar panels and more and a bunch of maybe of those basic capacitor banks, I guess. Those are the two things that we kind of need the most at the moment because we need more energy and we need to store more energy. That doesn't sound too bad, though. We can do that. Right, that ain't gets nearly done. Let's put these in. Yeah, we just need a ton of banks though, honestly. We'll get them later though, we'll figure it out. It's not gonna be an issue, we'll make a bunch. They're not too difficult to make, right? See, it, it stores a million RF, which is like a good amount. But these ones store like 25 R million RF. Well, I, I guess they can be upgraded. Okay. So if we make a bunch of the basic ones, we can eventually upgrade them all, which isn't a bad idea. So we can do that. That might be a decent idea. But let's get back to the solar panel at least. Uh, we need... Oh, we need a lot of those ingots again. We're also going to need a lot of basic capacitors, it looks like. So we need to figure out how to make those. 
All right, let's make a couple of those right now. We need some. We need four basic capacitors, which is iron. Okay, we got that. We got all that stuff. Gold nuggets. Um. Copper and redstone. Redstone. And we need to go grab some copper. 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 And then it was that there. Those there. And these here. We need a few more nuggets. We have some upstairs. Uh. We'll go grab some from outside. I remember I have a ton. We just need like two, right? Just need two of those. We also need some coal dust. Do I have any of that? I know I have some. I just gotta find it. That's the problem. We'll find it. We also have to make more of those ingots again, which kind of sucks, but it's not a big deal. We have the materials. Coal dust. There we go. Coal dust. Let's go craft another one of these. So we have all of those that we need. We also need... Yeah, we need a lot of those ingots. We need four of them. Four more of those ingots. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, four. We have the redstone and glowstone. One, two, three, four. Cool. Sounds good. Where am I going? I gotta go upstairs. Okay. We'll make four of these. And what else do we need? We need a daylight sensor, which is glass, quartz, and slabs. We should have all that. Do I have any pre-made slabs, or do I have to make them? I'm not sure. I think I'm... Yeah, we'll just make some. We can clear this. Why is that still there? Alright, let's make some slabs. So we can make an extra one for the future. We need some quartz, which we have somewhere downstairs. Nether quartz. And we also need some glass, which we have somewhere, or we can make it. One of the two options. We'll take those out. We don't need those there. Yeah, we need some more glass, though. We also have fused this glass. Is this the right glass to use? No, I think we need to add something to it. Do we have any normal glass? Oh, we have some glass there. My inventory is full, though, which kind of sucks. Oh, well. We'll dump the cobblestone. Just dump stuff. Oh, whatever. Okay, we got the solar panel. And now we just need... We can make those in a minute. We just need the glass, which is what? We need enlightened fused quartz. Which is, oh yeah. A fused quartz with four glowstone is one. We need two of those. Will it work if it's colored? Not sure. We'll find out. Lots of glowstone is being used though. Which kind of sucks. No problem. Let's do some science. Let's see if colored glass will work. So one, two, wait. Uh, no, it can't be. Okay. So we need to use four quartz as well. Okay, that's a lot of quartz, but that's not a problem. All 
All right, let's get some quartz. We need eight of, wait, how much do we need? Four, oh yeah, four for four. Not a bad trade. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we just gotta smelt this up and then we can make a solar panel, almost. <laughs> almost there. These are pretty complicated to make actually, but we're getting better at it, so that's good. Now we need the solar panel. We gotta make those, we need these ingots. Let's craft it, just like that. These on the sides and this like this. There we go. We have the ingots. We'll make this into a better crafting table. I can't store anything in this one. Yeah, we're running out of space. Good thing we're making... What, I just... What did I do there? There we go. So these go here, these go I think like this, I could be wrong, solar panel, and the glass, and we should be good, Woo, another solar panel, now let's go place it and that will be it for the episode, alright, we'll place it right there. Cool, we're gaining more power. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Direwolf 21.10 Mod Pack. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. See ya!